Hello everyone, long time no see. Say hi Macy. Hi everyone. Hi YouTube. Today is actually a very exciting day. We are traveling up to Southampton for my PGC graduation ceremony. To add to the stress, I'm actually moving in to my new flat today. You may or may not know that Jack and I moved out of our flat at the end of June. The end of June? The start of June and I've been living at home while we wait for our new tenancy to start. And that starts today. So we are moving into our new flat in Southampton, ready for my third year. It just happened to coincide with my graduation. I've been waiting like two years for this graduation ceremony. And obviously it's not a full degree, it's just like a postgraduate certificate in education. But it was still a very difficult year of my life and I'm quite proud of getting through that teaching course. So I'm very excited. Libby, I'm vlogging! Um, sorry if you can hear background noise because my family are pretty loud. Where was I? Today is obviously yeah, my graduation ceremony. Basically, it's quite stressful. We need to get up to Southampton this morning. I need to drop off all my stuff at the new flat. And then we need to go to the ceremony which is taking place at St Mary's Stadium, which is the football stadium in Southampton. It's 10 o'clock now. It takes about an hour to get to Southampton. And my ceremony is at 1pm. This graduation is a little bit different to my last graduation at Southampton which was back in 2018. This graduation is at the stadium whereas before mine was on campus but because of Covid and the backlog of graduates they've had to do a super graduation so there's going to be a lot of people there today and I don't think it will be as kind of intimate as the ceremony I had a few years ago but I'm excited anyway. A few of my friends are also graduating today but not many of my teacher pals because it is actually still the school term so a lot of them couldn't get the day off work which is really sad but I'm going along for the fun. Also you can meet my new housemates today hopefully, Ellie and Luke. So that is something I probably haven't told you yet. Jack and I are moving in with our friends Ellie and Luke. So it's kind of the start of a new era today which is kind of exciting. I think I was getting kind of fed up with filming the same vlogs in that old flat we were in. I've just been saying goodbye to Macy because I miss her so much when I'm not home. Bye baby, love you. I love you. I miss you. and it's a little bit chaotic. We're not really sure what we're doing at this point. I think I need to go over there somewhere, but Mum and Jack are waiting here. Hi! <laughs> it's gonna be like super long. Hi Mum! Hello! <laughs> I like your headband. Thank you. So this is our second graduation ceremony. It is, we went to one yesterday. Um, it's Swansea. So we're a little bit tired. <laughs> we are, yeah. We spent a night in uh, in Wales as well. Yeah, for my brother's graduation. On the hottest day of the year. But Dad's gone to park the car, so we don't want to do anything major without him. Because I don't think I don't think he'll be able to find us again if you go in. We're yeah. going in G. Mum's trying to find Dad. G for graduate. G for graduate. Hello. You look nice. Thank you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Lydia with famous darts player Rob Cross. Hi there. Why are we giving away 10 signed shirts on Lydia's YouTube channel? <laughs> They only come in extra, extra, extra large. So at this point in the day, I had to give my camera over to Jack because graduation robes don't have pockets. And I instructed him to film some clips and bless him, he did try his best, but he doesn't have the steadiest hand, it seems. The ceremony started with the procession of academics and the vice chancellor, and they play this fancy music and they all wear like fancy robes. And they actually had to walk across the entire football pitch which kind of seemed unnecessary. It took them like five, maybe even 10 minutes to get to the stage. And then they finally got started. There were some intro speeches from the vice chancellor and we had an honorary doctorate guy getting an award, but we had to sit through the entire economics faculty graduating, as well as sociology, psychology, and a few others. It was quite fun at the start, but eventually you do get quite bored of whooping and clapping. Before the ceremony, the uni had banned handshakes to try and save time, but then students actually started protesting and shaking each other's hands. Um, so the ceremony that we had, they'd taken that complaint on board, slashed the bad press on board, and they'd let us shake the hand of our faculty head, as well as the vice chancellor. Here's my my flatmate Luke graduating with his MSc in International Security and Risk. Woohoo! Go Luke! 
Sadly, our names didn't get read out. Uh, they just flashed them along the screen and it wasn't necessarily while you were on stage either. So it did feel slightly impersonal. After all the sitting and clapping for well over an hour, it was finally the turn of the education school and for me to go up on stage. Vice Chancellor, I present to you the following postgraduate certificates in education, our teachers. I thought long and hard about what to do during my big moment on the screen. I decided to blow a kiss to mum, dad and Jack in the crowd. Yeah, what's up? Yay! I then plodded off stage trying very hard not to fall over, ready for a celebratory drink and some food. You were supposed to be in there at half twelve. Yeah. Got into the stadium at quarter past one. I think half one. We got into the stadium at quarter two. Okay. I think karaoke started already. They started the ceremony about 45 minutes late and it's now 10 past four and we've just got out. So, cheers. of hours now. I haven't actually taken many pictures yet so we're gonna go and do a photo shoot over there on that little wall. They did have karaoke on earlier. They didn't really pick up. What was the song that was uh, popular on karaoke tonight here? They did Country Roads. Yes, and I wanted to do... You wanted to do you like Pina Colada. But Mum's just doing her makeup ready for some photos. You look a bit like a musician today. Yeah. The jacket and the glasses. The, and the glasses, yeah. If um, you don't be quiet, I'll have to subject you to a yellow submarine. Oh, not that one. You did that one in there. Uh, <laughs> you should go over there. Excuse subject me. Subject everyone. <laughs> Didn't see any footballers on the pitch, unfortunately. Yeah. There was a pigeon. There was a pigeon. There was a few good aeroplanes going over. A few aeroplanes going over, yeah. That's it. That's what a graduation is like. Mum and Dad, what do you think of the super graduation? Oh, it was a bit of a marathon, but there we, we got go. through it. Yeah. And I thought it was done uh, as efficiently as it could be done, given the vast numbers of graduates. It was quite ruthlessly efficient. It was a backlog because of the pandemic. So it wasn't just 2022, it was 2020 and 2021. Exactly. And 11,000 graduates have passed through here at this stage. Do you work for the University of Southampton? <laughs> After we enjoyed our free drink and a sing song, I wanted to get some pics by the photo wall that they'd set up because other than that, the stadium is just not very kind of photogenic, but I know most people were heading to campus. So we just kind of got set up by the photo wall after most people had left. Mum wanted to have a go at vlogging, so I did give her a quick tutorial That's as well. That's starting recording. Yeah, and if you want, you can turn it round. And record Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. There he is. Oh, we go away. shoot was going really smoothly until I decided to throw my hat slightly too high. Recording. <laughs> my cap ended up landing on top of a shipment container behind a locked gate um, and obviously security didn't have the keys and didn't really know what they could do to help me and I was freaking out because we have to rent the cap and gown and you have to return them by the end of the day and they did threaten us with fines and these things they're not cheap so I was really worried we wouldn't be able to get it back Shit. be careful Lydia yeah I had to use the help of Jack and a kind stranger to retrieve the hat without injuring myself or anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum managed to capture this incredible footage on camera just after her first ever vlogging tutorial. Yeah. That's good. It's a bit later now and we are in the pub that I work at. We've had some food. <laughs> It's been quite a long day, so we're quite tired now. <laughs> 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 
We are on campus, just about to drop off my robe. There is lots of people outside the library having photo shoots. Oh, we're walking in people's photos. I decided not to have a photo shoot on campus because I already have my graduation here. Look at my hair, Jack. Does it look bad? I already had my graduation here in 2018 and I'm having another graduation here, fingers crossed, for medicine in a few years. So I thought, it's fine, I don't need pictures on campus because I'm going to be back here in a few weeks time. And as much as I love campus and I think it's much more picture worthy than St Mary's picturesque. State. Picture, picture worthy? Picturesque? picturesque? Do you want to wear the hat Jack? No. It's much more picturesque than St Mary's. So we're going to drop off the robes. I don't get to be graduate anymore. Bless him, Jack drove from Hastings this morning to move into the flat. <laughs> we haven't even got bedding. Like we, we're going home after this and I don't even know what we're gonna do. We've got, we've got some bacon, some milk and some bread for the morning. <laughs> what is bagels? Oh, bagels, we've got bagels. Mm. But this is the end of the graduation content. Oh my God, you caught it. I caught it. It's a miracle. No. Yeah, Run! <laughs> Careful, you've got heels on, you'll fall over. You'll fall over. You're not good at heels. Oh, 